Yeah, and something that's interesting, I don't know if we're lit for it because I want to get into the net here and show something, but the way he holds his stick is really unique. It is very unique, and all I need is a green light to know yeah, if I can ahead. jump in the net. Come on, I love the ad lib. Go, Weeksy, go. Yeah, okay, go for so, it. Let's do it. I love so, it. So basically, <laughs> and, and Doobie will be able to appreciate this, here's something that's really interesting in watching Sorokin play, right? Yeah. So with Sorokin, and Doobie, you know this, for any young goalie, they always tell you to keep your stick on the ice, to keep it flat. You know that. Yep. They're always a fundamental thing. Mm -hmm. So there's kids out, now, out there now that are going to be signing up to go and play house league. And the first thing you're going to say is, keep your stick on the ice. Make sure you keep the stick on the ice. To the point to where the stick is flat, typically. And, you know, you'll see little goalies, your legs are together because you're really conscious of getting beaten five hole. <laughs> this guy, Ilya Sorokin, is so unique and confident. He actually doesn't have the blade on the ice. He has the toe. Watch the setup. So instead of it being here, flat, so then you can do this, he's got it this way. It's unbelievable. Wow. It's literally on the toe. It defies convention. So he literally, a lot of times, you'll see him set up. He's got the blocker forward in a different kind of position, but the toe of his stick, instead of the whole blade, the whole blade on the ice, his toe is up. It's so unique to him. I've never seen another goalie do it. More importantly, yeah. I've never seen another goalie get away with it. Well, that's what I was about well. to say. How off, like... The what upside well, downside there, Doobie? Upside, I suppose he just his confidence is Ellen. What's the downside? Is he gonna get beat five hole more risky? I don't know. No, I think I think part of it is he he does play upright, his upper body. He's not a he's not a huge guy. Right. So right. He, he has to he has to have his upper body upright. He can't be really crouched over. You know, I was a big guy, so I was able to play right. very crouched over. When he's moving around, his upper body it's very relaxed and upright. And so I think when he is moving around, you know, maybe it's in, in order for him to move like that, he can't have his stick flat uh, exactly. on the ice. He, he can really only have the toe down. Now, I'm sure when you watch, as he gets into his low crouch, yeah. that stick probably flattens out. Um, but, you know, he's he's probably not having the toe on the ice when, when guys are in tight. Yeah. But he almost, you don't really have a choice if you're going to play that upright like that and relax like he does, making himself big being not that big of a guy. Yeah, exactly, because had he had the blade fully flat on the ice mm -hmm. then now you've got to move with the blade and it, it kind of encumbers you a little bit mm. right it kind of encumbers you it's a little different than a tennis racket mm. where you have it up here and your arms and it's free and it's easy to move but in the net when especially with a blocker it's one thing to go to the glove side yeah. but especially having that blocker great point by you you're kind of encumbered by it so if the stick blade is flat it's harder to move side to side you talk about every kid being taught in house to yeah. like that. How about how about back in the day, pre butterfly? Oh, are right? you kidding me? Be upright the whole time. Never get down. I want to see that. Show you that one. Never get down on the ice. I hope it's I don't rip my suit. Pre butterfly. Like if you, when you watch this '80s yeah. hockey, right. you literally see kick saving hey. the beauty because guys wouldn't go down. I started my first year organized hockey house league, <laughs> Toronto Olympics, St. Mike's on the green team. Don't go house down, Weeksy. I won't because I don't want to rip that the suit. suit's too nice. <laughs> but basically, basically, here's what they would teach you. Yeah. So you'd have your your blocker, you take your, put your stick away. You have your blocker on the one post, <laughs> your glove on the other post, yeah. and they would shoot pucks on you, and you would literally do skate saves like this. <laughs> yes. You would right? So listen, you I can. Go. We'd I start. It, right? We'd start down on one knee, though. Yeah. Oh, you guys did one sit knee there. Yeah. So, so you, you knew to, it was coming yeah. this way, and you'd sit down on one knee, and the shots would come, and you just direct them with your skate. <laughs> See, that's the evolution. Because it was a stand-up time. Yeah. It, you literally would do it standing up, and your assistant coach or whoever yeah. would have about eight pucks, and you just literally do this. You just slide <laughs> them on the ice, and you do this. So and the I, evolution, to your point, yes. is then you incorporate being down on one knee and do it. But I, love it. I don't think I've so ever crazy. actually made a save like that in my entire life. <laughs> <laughs> but I practiced it. By kicking this in. Yeah, Redirect my, the yeah, puck my dad out. Had me, the my dad had me kicking him out in practice like that, though, because that's what he did when he <laughs> so played. Good. But I don't think I ever uh, actually did that. Actually, I think I did so once good. in the American League, and Kelly Buckberger told me to never do that. Oh, no way. <laughs> Kelly Buckberger, oh, yeah. I love that. Well, well, what's crazy about that, right, is when you had – Obviously, with the evolution of the butterfly coming back, because we know the great Glenn Hall did it, and Terry Sawchuck, and of course, the great Tony Esposito, right. among others. But once it got kind of reintroduced under the great Patrick Waugh, mm -hmm. and it started to become fashion. But prior to that, it was stand-up or skate saves or kick saves. Yeah. And the, the downside 